Yeah, hello there. So today I'm making a video on how to AUF EG algs. So I'll be covering how to AUF CLL, then EG1, and then EG2. Uh, I think a lot of people have trouble with learning how to e AUF algorithms, uh, especially for 2x2, two two because, you know, if you have like an EG1 or EG2, there are swaps on the bottom, so it can be a little confusing how to figure out where the pieces are going to go. So I'll just show you examples for one set, and I'll do the H set, so that's this one right here, so, you know, like, two headlights on both sides. So, uh, for CLL, I guess we'll start with that. Uh, so for this H set, we have this H alg, we have the two vertical ones. This is just the really easy one. So, for CLL, it's pretty easy because none of the pieces on the bottom move. So basically, what, what you do is look at either this orange or this red. I always do it with the color on the right, but you can do it with the left, I'm just used to this one. And then you th you memorize where this ends up after you do the alg. So if it ends up on the right, then you have to do a U to get it to match with this red. But I know it ends up on the front, so uh, so if I would have blue in front, red's going to be here, and then I just do a U prime. So I'm just going to do the alg. So now it's red on front, and then U prime, and then that's the AUF. So I'll show you the case that looks really similar to that. Okay, so this one. Uh, the last one was like this. This one has opposite colors matching like that. So this one, exact same thing. I just look at the one in the bar in the front, the blue bar, or whatever color it is. This time it's blue. And I think, where does this go? So I just do the algorithm, and I memorize where it ends up, and it ends up on the front. So I know the blue is on the left, and then this will be on the front, so I just do a U, and that's my AUF, so there's the algorithm. And UAUF. Uh, now I'll show this algorithm. So this is the one where you have a vertical bar right here, and the algorithm I do starts over here with it in front of you. So I know after I do the algorithm, I've memorized that it's going to end up on the right, so I'm going to have to do a U to match it up with this. So algorithm and UAUF, just like I predicted. And the last case in the set is, let's see, how do I want to set this up? There, just like that. So this one, last time we had a bar over here, now we have the bar right here. So it's blue, and I know for this algorithm, it will end up on the right. The right is green, blue is opposite green, so then I do a U2. So I'll do the algorithm, U2AUF. Okay, now I'll start with EG1. So, oh wait, I, I did that out first. So let's do this one. Okay. So this is the first CLL one I showed, the same as before, or like the first one I showed last time. So it's the same case, you know, the vertical with the red and orange. And for EG1, you'll be holding it with like this with the bar on the back. And uh, obviously the color on the back is going to be like the color that these match because these aren't going to move. The ones that are going to move are these two in the front. So looking at this, you might think that's going to be the color on the left but it's actually these two are going to swap, and this red is going to be on the front. So the left is blue. So you can either look at this sticker or this sticker. Uh, I usually look at this one because it's just easier and it's right in front of me. And then right side is green, either this one or this one. Once again, I look at this one. And then front is these two that are on the sides. So I know after I do this algorithm, that's the phone. Okay. I know once I do this algorithm, this orange bar right here is going to end up on the left. So I know I'm going to have to do a U to AUF it to match it with this bar. So, And then U AUF, just like that. Uh, the next algorithm, this is just the F triple sexy F prime. I know the orange is going to match with the back. So there's no AUF. Just like that. So basically you just go through the cases and do the inverses and then figure out where they're going to end up. I'll do this one now uh, with the vertical bar. So this one matches the front. So the front is already red, so there's no AUF because you can see this is red and this is red. Or you could look at the back and see orange and you know the front is going to be red. So there's that. And then the last algorithm in this set for EG1 is the one with the bar on the front. Let's see how I want to set that up. Uh, I guess I'll just like do something like this. There we go. 
Okay, so once again, we have orange in the back. This one, bar right here. I know after I do this algorithm, it's going to end up on the front. The blue is going to be here. And since I know this is blue, that means blue is going to be on the left side. So I do the algorithm. And it's UAUF, just like I saw. Okay, that's the EG1 set for that algorithm, for that uh, set. Now I'll go through the EG2. Now the EG2 is very confusing because, like as you see, you don't know which pieces move. Everything's diagonal and it's sort of confusing where stuff ends up. But I'll show you how I go about figuring out what to do. So we'll start with this case again, the 2 gen one. So you have orange and red. I hold it like this for the algorithm. Now what you have to do is to find out which piece is where or which side is where, you find one piece that's on the bottom layer that doesn't move at all. So this alg uses R, U's, and F's. So every piece on the cube has a potential to move except for this one right here. So this is orange and this is green. So the left's gonna be orange, the back's gonna be green, the right's gonna be blue, uh, red, red, because op is orange, and the front's gonna be blue because it's opposite green. I know this red, once I do the algorithm, will end up on the left. So red will be here, orange will be here, so then AUF is U2. Just like that, this piece didn't move, and U2. Uh, the next algorithm, just like that. Uh, so for this one, it, use R, it uses R, U, and B moves, so that means the R layer moves, the U layer moves, the back layer moves, so this piece right here doesn't move. So I know blue is going to be on the front, orange is going to be on the left, red on the right, green on the back. I know this green will go to the back, so I have no AUF. Just like that. Uh, the last two cases. Uh, I guess I'll, this time I'll do this one first. Okay, wow, everything's just ringing while I'm doing this video. Anyways... This one, this is the one with the bar on the front. Stop messaging me, please. Bar on the front. Uh, this uses RUF moves, so once again, this back left piece isn't going to move. Uh, the red goes to the back, and then a red is on the right, because that's opposite to orange, because this is the stationary piece, so it's a UAUF. I messed up that algorithm. Let's try it again. Whatever. I guess we'll just do this one. So for this one... RUB, uh, this green goes to the back, but this move, this one doesn't move, so it's U2. Never mind, it goes to the front. Okay, just disregard what I said about that. Uh, yeah. Okay, try this one again. So this goes to the back, and this doesn't move, so it's UAUF. Just like that. So I hope that helped with anyone who averages like 2.3 to 2.5 with eg1 or something or eg2 even and i think aof is really important and you should learn it